Hi, I'm Elias, and in this guide, I'm going to walk you through creating a hover effect that will change what image is displayed when your visitors hover over product images in a product collection component. We'll be using three Replo concepts to achieve this effect. The first being product collection components, which make it easy to showcase multiple products which share the same styling. Next, we will use dynamic data to display relevant product information from your Shopify product catalog, like the title and price. It's also how we will display different images on the product collection component. And finally, states is what enables us to differentiate what image to show. We can start by adding the product collection component into our canvas. Open the components library and search for product collection. Then, drag and drop the component wherever you'd like. To change what products are currently displayed, open the config tab for the component. There are two main ways to do so. You can either click on the settings icon next to the component's name in the canvas, or you can select the component in the layers section and switch the config tab in the properties panel. The config tab is where you can change what products are displayed and what order they appear in. For now, I'll only change what products are showing. Next, I'm going to style the products in the collection. What makes product collection components powerful is the ability to style how a product looks once and have those styles copied to the rest of the products. For example, if I wanted to make all of the add to cart buttons in the collection have a dark gray background, I would select the button, then change the background color to gray. For this guide, I'm going to adjust how the images look, the text font and sizing, and the add to cart button. Feel free to make any adjustments to your component as well. Now that we've added our products and styled the component, let's go ahead and add a state to the product images. Select a product image from the collection and switch to the Design tab in the Properties panel. Click on the grayed out hover button. This will activate the state and any changes we make here will only appear when a visitor hovers over the product image. If you wanted the images to change when visitors hover over the entire product, you would add the hover state to the product template component instead of the product image. Now scroll down to Image Source and click on Featured Image to open the Dynamic Data Modal. This is where you can change what image is displayed. Replo automatically pulls in the media you have configured in Shopify under your product's featured images. To change the image that is showing, click on Current Product, then Images. This will show a list of images available. Click on the second option from the list, and all products in the collection will show their second image. If you have a product that only has one image, no image will be displayed, so make sure all your products have at least two images. Now click Use Dynamic Property to apply the changes. You can see what the different states look like by switching between the default state and the hover state. That's all there is to creating this effect. Now let's test it out by creating a page preview. Press the drop-down icon next to the Publish button and wait for a page preview to be created. Click View Preview in Browser to open the preview. As you can see, whenever we hover over a product, the image changes. That's all for today. If you have any questions, you can post them in the description or reach out to our support team at replo.app.